Today on the Holland Recommends, we are going to talk about the first full-length show I directed at Laney High School, The White Rose by Lillian Garrett Grogue. Now, the reason I chose this show as my first full-length show was because when I was a theater student at UNCW, I had auditioned for this show, and the director uh, was a difficult person to deal with, and I had worked with her previously and had clashed. Uh, pretty bad. Uh, it was it was it was not a fun time. The show was the musical comedy murders of 1940, and I had a big role in it. And she was just a bit of a Bolshevik as a uh, as a director. And we had some personality clashes. Of course, she clashed with everybody. I thought that was water under the bridge when I auditioned for this show, but it was not. And despite having a uh, um, Oh, and I thought it was a very good audition. I did not make the cast, despite the fact that it was not a particularly strong cast. And uh, I always thought to myself, because I really loved the script, that if I had the chance one day, I was going to direct this myself. And I got the chance many years later after spending quite a bit of time as a PE teacher before becoming a theater teacher at Lane. The cast is uh, not super high school friendly and the fact that it is seven males and one female that does work for some of you guys, and that's the reason why I am adding this here. The show runs about 75 to 80 minutes. It's, it's kind of one of those tweener shows, not, not a one act, but, but uh, not a really long full length show. But there are only eight characters in the show, so most of the characters have significant lines. Uh, the lead in the show, uh, Robert Moore, who is the investigator, has right at a thousand lines in this show, so you're going to need a very, very strong actor to perform that role, uh, as well for Hans and Sophie Scholl. The plot of the show is based in 1940s Nazi Germany, and it is based on a true story of the uh, White Rose Movement. The White Rose Movement was a group of students in their early 20s who were spreading anti-Nazi propaganda in Germany, and they were caught. And uh, they were summarily executed. The show shows the arrest and questioning that leads up to their trial and ends in their execution. Through the show, you see flashbacks of them making plans to spread their flyers, and that leads to really growing to like and become invested in these characters, especially if you cast the right kids. There are some challenges to this show. It is very serious material, but it's also very serious material that needs to be done with a German accent because these students are German. And that can be tricky because German, I have found, uh, it, it can be hard to teach someone how to be soft and compassionate with a German accent. It, it, it takes some work. However, my students, I felt, did a very good job of this. I was super duper pleased with our production of it. The set mostly takes place in two locations, in the living room of one of the students' houses. So you have to have uh, furniture that looks the time. And the other part takes place in interrogations in the police station. At the end of the show, the students are executed and they are given their final lines. And the way we staged that on stage was in, a, in the corner of the stage, there was nothing and the students would come out, get on their knees, say their final lines. They'd bow their head as if they were going to the guillotine and the light would go off at the sound of the guillotine. It was extremely powerful. The audience was in tears every night. For me, it actually ended up working out wonderfully because one of the students in this show, Chris Ducharme, his mom would later become my principal as she took over when my current principal uh, was moved up in position. And uh, she was super familiar with the program before she ever got here and has been a wonderful principal uh, since then. Unfortunately, she's retiring in about a month and I'm, I'm terrified about what we might get next. But but uh, our school has always been known as an art school, so I think we'll be okay. 
Uh, costumes were typical of 1940s Nazi Germany. Uh, Han Scholl needs to have some sort of military uniform. We managed to find something that was close enough in our uh, wardrobe. Everything else is typical 1940s. My cast um, ended up, we, we got permission to make one of the, the most minor role female, but the rest of the cast was male. And uh, there are five students, all of which need to be very uh, gregarious, likable students. You got Hans and Sophie Scholl, uh, Willie Graf, uh, Probst, and uh, oh, what's the other one's name? Hold on a second. I should know this. Alexander Schmor. And uh, my cast, first of all, I had John Gupton playing the lead of Robert Moore. Uh, he was probably the most talented actor I've had to date. And I wanted to find a role that really challenged him, and this one certainly did. Learning that many lines is tricky for anybody, but for an 18 year old kid in high school, and he just absolutely went on to kill it. And he had a very successful acting career in college as well becoming an engineer. The others, Hans and Sophie Scholl both have more than 500 lines apiece and uh, need to be very powerful characters. Uh, one thing that I really liked about my set, as I'm going to show these pictures now, is I managed to get lucky and have my kids really look like the original White Rose members. Uh, Chris Ducharm, shown right here, was, I mean, if there was ever a movie uh, shot, I know there's been movie shot, but there's another movie shot, Chris would have been perfect for Hans Scholl at this time. He looks so much like him and scary. My other characters did too, with the exception of Willie Graf being, uh, not being a blonde in my cast. They were, uh, it was a lot of fun. The script is very powerful. It will leave your audience in tears. It runs about an hour 20 and I can't recommend it enough. If you're looking for a script with seven guys and one girl, this is a great option. It is published by Dramatist Play Service and it's a great show. The White Rose by Lillian Garrett Grove.